yes. Stephen A. a very the long time. Sometimes I feel like I know him better than he knows himself. Opener, Stephen A., it's all now. love. It's I know you were a little Prescott nervous, but you Dallas in Cowboys. late night, I absolutely love it. I have the full thing DVR, to be in and I will show some clips today, but it, it's, of the it's a good season, fit for him. Absolutely. Even though he's been held Perry Douglas is here, Max Kellerman, I'm Molly Karen Rose, gentlemen. Right shoulder, uh, just, also, also Marcus Spears is going to join us in just a second. Here's what his head coach Mike McCarthy Famous Jameis was ready to do this. He also showed up, showing all his upside, that incredible arm, and the downside diminished as far as taking care of the football. Winston looking like a Heisman Trophy winning number one overall pick, completing touchdown passes of 43 and 29 yards, to second-year pro Marquez Callaway as the Saints defeated the Jacksonville Jaguars 23-21 on Monday Night Football. Winston completed 9 of 10 passes for 123 yards without an interception, bolstering his candidacy to become the Saints' new starter. Meanwhile, rival in the quarterback competition, Taysom Hill, went 3-1 and one as a starter while Breeze was injured last season. Hill passed for 138 and a TD. Let's hear from the Saints. We're always update our resume we're constantly all of this film doesn't disappear you know you're always trying to put your best foot forward and and, and create that um, value for yourself you know as a teammate as, as a player that has a role whether it's in the kicking game or whether it's on offense or defense whether it's for depth I mean that's something that um, you know, there is a sense of urgency for these guys. I haven't started a football game in so long, man. So I was just, I was so excited to just get an opportunity to start and uh, lead the pack, man. It, it was exciting and uh, the rhythm was great. Offensive line was phenomenal. Uh, and we had guys like Quez making plays all night, man. You, you gotta love that. I'm not going to lie here. It was fun seeing him out there, right? We talked about the 30-30 club, but the, 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 like that. the bad 30 was gone. It felt like Sean Payton was helping him take care of that. So tell me this. Should we have ever doubted that Jameis Winston would be the starter? Not at all, Molly. And I'm glad to start this show that you addressed it, Jameis Winston, as famous Jameis. Uh -huh. Because that's exactly how he looked last night. Now to you, Max. And you know I've been waiting on this all night. <laughs> Listen, if I tell you a pigeon can pull a Mack truck, don't ask me no questions. You just hooked that bad boy up, Max. I told you, Famous Jameis is the best quarterback for this team. And we've seen that last night. I love the rhythm that he was in. He started out first completion, 10-yard slant to Marquez Callaway, right? Then he hits a 10-yard out on third down to his tight end. Then he throws a swing pass to his running back. Then, not only that, he deciphered coverage last night. You look at his first touchdown. I'll tell you the route combination. You have a deep over. Callaway. What does that leave you? Nothing but space to work that fade route. Work that go. We call it a spray fade. Touchdown, Jameis Winston. Terrific catch by Marquez Callaway, but Great perfect catch. throw by Jameis Winston. Max, I, you should have never, ever doubted Jameis Winston. Well, that's, that's funny that ever. you say that because he required that kind of performance to lock up the job. Remember, Sean Payton said that before the third preseason game, he's mm -hmm. going to make his pick, right? Yeah. And it came down to against a, a, a running back, wide out, high hybrid, wildcat type quarterback, mm -hmm. the number one overall draft pick, the former national champion, the former Heisman Trophy winner, a guy who led the league in passing yards. It took a full season backing up Drew Brees plus game two of the preseason where he had to be virtually perfect, even the one in completion. I know, like, it was like, well, go ahead, go ahead. I know you want to talk about that. I, I do. It go was ahead. a third down, right? And the reason why they was in third and long was because they got two false start penalties, right? And what I love about Jameis, he was looking at it now. He wanted to rifle that right. thing downfield. He wanted to take a but chance. But Sean Payton and Drew Brees was in his ear basically saying, don't do it, Jameis. Jameis don't showed up on that shoulder saying, try it, Jameis, try it. <laughs> don't revert back. And Drew Brees showed up over here. Be careful. But that's, but that's one of the things that Sean Payton is talking about. That's one of the things that... That's right. Right. That, that Jameis Winston is talking about that he learned under Drew Brees. But right? Harry, Live to that's play another what down. it took. A, even the one in completion actually was kind of perfect. Yeah. It took a perfect performance by Jameis 
in the in the second in the at the last moment he could to lock up the job in order to lock up the job over Taysom Hill, and that's inc- you have to also include in that. Taysom Hill comes in. He's not playing with the ones. He's like he's playing with the twos and the threes. Mm-hmm. And he has value outside of the quarterback position. Like if Jameis can't play quarterback for you, he's good for nothing for you. He's just an insurance policy. If Taysom Hill can't, well, that's play, most quarterbacks in the NFL. But not, not Taysom, but not Taysom Hill. Taysom Hill can help you in a variety of ways. And so Jameis has the advantage what, what, going in, and is, it's still what is took Taysom this long. Hill great at? Tell me what Taysom Hill is great at. Uh, He's very good at a lot of things. Very good. Winston, before he got to the Saints. Yeah, sure. You want to know who else didn't start their career off very well? Tannehill. Peyton Manning. Oh, no, 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 no. I gotta br- it doesn't matter. I got to bring it up. Era. They both two form a number one overall draft picks, right? Yeah. So let me, let me, let me drop the numbers to you. Now, Peyton Manning, his first five years in the league, Two for over 20,000 yards, 138 touchdowns, 100 interceptions, completion percentage 62, quarterback rating 85.9. Mm-hmm. What was Jameis Winston? Over 19,000 yards, 121 touchdowns, 88, 88 interceptions, completion percentage 61.6, QB rating is better, 87.4. It's not about how you start, Max. Harry, that's sometimes you, out of, no, I understand. Sometimes that's totally you go through, out of no, Max, Sometimes is. you go through adversity. It's how you come back from it. Peyton. Jameis Winston went through adversity. He sat behind Drew Brees. Peyton that Manning was Sean didn't Payton. lose his learned. starting job five years into his career. And those numbers that you just cited, it is so much more of a passing league when quarterbacks are expected to do so much more early in their career. That's really not so an Peyton apples Manning to apples. So Peyton Manning didn't pass the football, and that's, Peyton Manning had a better arsenal to work with. That's not an apples to apples. Peyton Manning, by the time he was th- at this point in Jameis Winston's career, there was never a quarterback Max. controversy in the, in, Max, you know, during my, camp. My grandma ever. always told me this, Max. Numbers don't lie. People do. Actually, numbers can be taken out of context and people can use them to lie. But not in this instance. Actually, yes, in this instance. But not in this instance. There's no equivalency between Jameis Winston. Not in this instance. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know Jameis Winston's not going to be a great quarterback? I follow both their careers. But the point is this. Did Jameis Winston lock up the job yesterday? I think he did. Yes. I think think the NFL is supposed to be a meritocracy. I didn't know who should start. I watched last night. The answer is Jameis Winston, based on that performance. Finally, but, Max, but you see it that way. But wait a minute. It Finally, Sean Payton sees it that way. It took that piece of evidence to lock up the job at the 11th hour for Jameis Winston. Let's not act like this was locked up from the beginning. It wasn't. He had to do it. And That's he did it. But, so Max, it you appeared. should have never doubted him in the first place. You should never compare him to Peyton Manning. How do you know? How do you know what Jameis Winston is going to be down the line? You didn't know Are Peyton you, Manning was going to be that after he started so terribly, mm, especially in 28 interceptions in his first season. I'm se- confident season. in saying Jameis will never be Peyton Manning, but time. Well, I'm not saying he's going to be Peyton Manning. I'm just comparing numbers, right? It's not, not about how you start, Max. It's about how you finish. Mm. Jameis Winston has another opportunity now, so we're going to see how he's going to finish right. the rest and of the season. Listen, Kevin so Hart, you're starting hot. we got to <laughs> keep going. I like all this passion. All right, so it appears Jameis has lost. Locked up the starting job, according to us here. Do you ever see yourself platooning two quarterbacks? Here's what I'll always say. I will always say I'm going to do what's best for the team. I'm going to do whatever I can to help the team win. All right, where's my guy Swigo? Hey, good morning, sir. How we doing? Long what up? No see. What good up, Ma? I, 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 I damn near, I damn near, I damn near cut this mic off listening to that uh, argument about Jameis Winston. So I'm glad we moving on to Mac Jones. Oh, don't, don't worry though, because I'm going to get your take on that a little later. Because I, I need the swag. Down, take. So don't worry, you're going to get in on that. That good stuff in just a bit. But we'll stay focused here on the Patriots. Should the Pats consider a platoon, Harry? Um, I think they should. When, when it comes to Bill Belichick, one thing I would never question Bill Belichick as, and that's a coach and his decisions. right? A lot of people question Bill Belichick when he sat Malcolm Butler in that playoff game against the Super Bowl, actually, uh, against the Philadelphia Eagles. Malcolm Butler went to the Tennessee Titans. 
They played the Eagles the following season. You want to know what Alshon Jeffries did? He had eight catches for the 105 yards. Yards and a touchdown. So Bill Belichick made the right move. I just can never see people. I don't understand why people question. Oh my God! As a coach. Well, well I don't, you know what? You know what? Actually, I agree that Belichick. That you don't question him as a coach. He's always trying to just get the win that week. That's what he's trying to do. But I see it differently in terms of the Malcolm Butler thing in the Super Bowl. But for the, for the same reason, like he's trying to win. And this is not original to me. I think some maybe it was USA Today. Someone wrote about this at the time, and I thought, that's right. Bill Belichick was daring Nick Foles to beat him with his arm. That's why you take Malcolm Butler And it's out a of game, game of matchups. Not because you're afraid he's going to get – but I don't think because you're afraid he's going to get torched. I think because you think Malcolm Butler dissuades you from throwing. So take him out of the game. Go ahead, Nick Foles. We don't want, to be, we don't want the Eagles to beat him, us with a run. Beat us with your arm. And he did. That, that's, <laughs> it's a game of matchups. That, that's, I don't want to get too far afield. Let me say this about platooning. Whatever works – it doesn't matter how – just get the job done, whatever works. I think Cam – we talk about Jameis Winston's performance. Cam was spectacular when last seen. Yeah. I think Cam Newton, it's his job. I think this is a former MVP. This is a guy who I keep saying under North Turner before his injury was even better as a pocket passer than he'd ever been. I think there's a good chance Cam can be an excellent quarterback again. I think he showed it last time out. To me, the big news, though – is he's going through these protocols that the team had a misunderstanding with him, but apparently if you're...